Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa's Paper Passion coming to you with a project share. This is a mini file folder. Um, I belong to a swap group on Facebook and we were to do a mini file folder swap. Um, so this is what I created and I'll post a tutorial below. Um, it's not mine, it's um, somebody I followed and it came out really cute. You just need two file folders and the way you cut it and score it and decorate it it's loads of fun so that sounds funny to say but let me show you what I made for her um, this is for Teresa and I'll be shipping it out I am uh, days late uh, shamefully but um, she was gracious enough to wait for it and I got hers and I really like it I could show you hers after I show you mine so um, this is the cover. Sorry, I was trying to scrape off a piece of glue. Um, this is the cover. And again, it's two file folders and it makes four tabs. And it's really cute. I didn't label the tabs. I just stamped it with this uh, house stamp that I have and used the edge of it and kind of gave it a cool effect. Um, so, and the paper I used is from... I believe it's from Timu. I don't remember if it's Timu or Amazon. Um, but it's called Purple Brilliance. That's the number. It's a six by six pack. And I used a lot of it because I needed like 14 sheets. So this is what I have left plus some scraps. But really pretty. Um, really the paper kind of does it does most of the job for you. But let me flip through. So it, it has... Um, from the top view, it has one, two, three top pockets, and then it has one, uh, two, no, does that two? Yeah, two, uh, two side pockets. That makes sense because you're, yeah. So anyway, so um, I'm not going to take everything out, but these are garment tags. I edged all the edges with Tim Holtz. Um, which one did I use? I used feathered twig. I really like this one. Oh, I mean, gathered twig, sorry. I'm thinking of feathers, I'm thinking of my birds. Um, so that's what I used to distress all the edges. I thought it would go really perfectly with this paper. So um, here I just Mod Podged a, a doily. I cut it in half, put half on each side. And then this is the paper. Here I created a pocket. And then this is pieces, bits and pieces of the paper that was left and I just kind of um, collaged, paper collaged uh, and made two tags. So here's one and this goes in the pocket. And here's a side pocket with some stamps on it. And then here I made a little pocket on the side with um, these handkerchiefs that I got from the thrift store. I just cut them apart and use them. I love them. I use it on, on a lot of stuff. So here I made it a pocket, but before I didn't just glue that down, I glued it on a piece of paper. That way it had more sturdiness to it. And then I added a plain tag for her, as well as a little junk journal, petty cash slip of paper. I didn't want to overwhelm it too much. Um, here is, um, this is kind of cute actually. I used the edge of that and this is a Velcro and it opens up to like a little journal she can write in, some glue, hair sticking out. So that's that. Can glue, uh, Velcro that back on. Here's another side pocket here. And then on this one, um, I did like a freestanding a freestanding a flip pocket and made a little specimen slide with lace on top and then this I'm going to show you where I got that from went to Goodwill today I love this it's so gorgeous you're not going to believe where this came from actually you're probably looking at the mothership of where that came from and then here a uh, birdcage stamp a little doily I cut out and then the back, not much going on, but that's okay. Um, 
I was thinking of closing this with this with something. I'll probably put some seam binding around it. But where I got this loveliness from is <laughs> a piece of curtain. Um, this is the edging of it. Actually, this is the side where I cut it from. Isn't that gorgeous? I got this whole panel for $2. This was some sort of curtain. Um, yeah, I don't know. The yellow tag and I got it for 50% off. So I think it was a couple of bucks. And it comes with a lot. Uh, I especially like this part where it kind of merges. So I'll be thinking of a clever way to, to use this. But so yeah. And also I'm going to cut this apart of course. And use it for something. But that's what I made for her. And then what she made for me. And then I'll be sending her some goodies along with that. And then she made this for me. Gave me some sheets of really pretty embossed. I don't know if you could see that uh, Valentine's paper. And so we followed the same tutorial. And of course, every time somebody follows the same tutorial, you kind of put your own spin to it. So um, this is, oops, this is uh, the name of the group, the Paper Shack. And so this is her, um, I don't think it's the Snowman Kid, but but anyway, um, I re oh, I just noticed that this flips. So hers flips and she has some, um, little stickers and inserts so that could, we can put a tag here. I want to use it for some journaling. So yeah, so this was her version and um, very pretty. I love it. And then of course, this is my version. So let me know what you think of what I made. It'll be going out to her tomorrow. And thank you so much for watching. And again, I'll post a video below. And stay tuned for a gorgeous um, junk journal that I created. Um, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Really quick. Sorry about the mess in the back. Really quick sneak peek of my junk journal. Okay, it's a quick peek that I'll do a, uh, another video on. That's a separate video. This is the mess that I create under. I can't create under a clean desk. So um, that's just how I roll. I do clean it and then it gets like that. But anyway, thank you for watching. God bless. Bye.